Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to be replacing the water drop RO system filter. Now, I do have a triple RO system over here and this is called the G3. And it has three filters and that's what makes it the G3. They also make this in a G2 version which has two filters which are smaller. Now, how do I know that we need to replace the filter here which I ordered and I'll show you how to install that in a sec. The way I know is two reasons. There's a red light here that's grow, uh, glowing, and that pretty much shows that the CF filter needs to be replaced, which is the center one. I believe that's the carbon uh, fiber filter. I can't remember exactly, but that one lasts roughly six months. The bottom one lasts roughly 12 months, and I believe this one is also somewhere in the six month range, maybe 12 month. I don't remember, it shows on their website, but basically, Certain filters last longer while certain ones last shorter. And this is the one that you need to be replacing the most often. So that being said, the way to know is the light will glow or if you have the, uh, the kit where it comes with the LED light, you're gonna see that it glows red. And red means you gotta replace it. Blue means that you can drink it safely, similar to the light color over here. And then when you need to replace it soon, there's a yellow ring, and that's how we knew we had to replace it. So now what we're gonna do is actually replace the filter. And it comes in this box, and I bought this filter for roughly $30, and I think that's what they all roughly go for, all three of them. But um, this is the box right here, and this is the filter. You can see it's sealed, and it says CF, and that's the one we have glowing on the filter system over there. So it's sealed and we're gonna go ahead and peel this. And then once you peel the wrapping paper, it looks like there's a little safety lid over here. I guess you just yeah, peel that off, just a soft piece of plastic you can toss after this. And this is pretty much the filter and this is what they looked like when I originally bought this machine. They just have this little handle here, show CF there. Show CF here and these again are the six month filters that do run out quicker than all the other filters. And the filter also does come with this installation guide, which is super basic, you don't even need this. And if you look at it closely here, you can see it's a pretty simple installation process. All you do is turn the knob, turn the filter like this, it pops out, you pull it out, and then you put the other one on. So let's go ahead and do that right over here. So it's fairly straightforward. We'll do it exactly like the guide says. If you look at the CF filter, all we do is simply turn it. It kind of pops out. There's like a little gap here. We pull it out. And this is the old filter. Just a little drop of water came out, so not a messy process. And you can see the filter detected that it's out and I guess it's trying to recalibrate or something. So now that we have the old one out, what we're gonna do is plug in our new one. And when you plug it in, all you have to do is have it uh, pointing towards the left side. There's a little arrow here if you look closely and all you do is you plug it in right there and before I do you can see there's a little dot. That's where the arrow needs to line up to. So what we're gonna do is plug it in and then once it goes snug in you kind of twist it clockwise and while pressing it in. And there you go and it's in. And there was like a little snap there. You probably didn't hear, hear it on camera, but you can feel it. So now that we have the new filter installed, the next step is to tell the system that there's a new filter and you have to kind of reset it. So the way to do that is once you see these lights on, you hold the CF button for seven seconds. If the light isn't on, just tap on any button and it should turn on. So let's hold it for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we reset the system. And now you can hear water running through the machine. After the machine knows that there's a new filter, you have to wait about five minutes for the filter to uh, flush new water through there. And that's how it cleans up all the debris from the factory and any other particles that may have been in there while in the factory. All right, so it's been about five minutes now. The filter appears to have reset, and now all the lights are blue rather than red. And if we turn on the faucet over here, we can see it was a red light. Now we have a blue light, and it's working as intended. So 
So now that everything is complete, we can officially close this and just start using our water for our day-to-day -day lives. Typically what we like to use our water with is coffee, drinking water regularly, which we also filter in a, like a jug type filter. That's kind of like a smaller filter. Something we use on the side, this is like a per brand, nothing fancy, but we do like to add like a second level of filtering, which might help a little. But we also like to use our filter with uh, this coffee machine. This is a really cool coffee machine. If you're in the business of uh, buying a coffee machine, I highly recommend this Terra one. Uh, check out my channel to see a video on this. Very cool, fully automated. All you do is add beans at the top here, press a button, and you get a really good high quality espresso coffee. If you also need to replace the filters on your water drop reverse osmosis machine, I'll leave a link down in the description pointing to where you can buy any of the filters that the machine uses. And you can see on the box here that it does say filter life about six months or 550 gallons. So I'll probably be replacing this again in roughly half a year depending on how much water we use. Uh, so with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave your comments down in the description below. Uh, 